Hi. My name is Katie. Welcome to my food art channel. Today I want to play with my split cup. It's a seven chamber split cup. Get my gloves on. Let me tell you about my colors. All right, this is gold by Windsor Newton. This is a cadmium yellow light hue by Liquitex. This is pyro red by Liquitex. This is cyan blue by Amsterdam. This is a bright aqua green by Liquitex. This is Windsor violet by Windsor Newton. And my white is an Amsterdam white, titanium white. I'm going to fill them just the way I have them set up here. Let's start with the gold. All of my paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol. And a small amount of water to get to the consistency I want. My consistency is... These are, it's a small mound on a mound. If you put a trace on top of your paint, it disappears in about two seconds. Always make sure your canvas is level. I asked my husband one time, I said, uh, could you uh, make sure my canvas is level? I have to run to the kitchen and put something in the oven. So sure, baby. I come back, I go, did you let, is the canvas level? And he says to me, kind of. It has to be level. And always check the consistency of your paint. It'll thicken up while sitting around. This blue definitely did. Okay, the blue's going in the middle. Aqua, bright aqua. This one always seems to thicken up the quickest. And then the Windsor Violet. Yeah, I think these chambers are different sizes. And the white. Even though these outside chambers look bigger, I think they actually are smaller. Okay. Eh. Just go with it the way it is. Let's see. Let me put a little bit of... I'll just put a little yellow right here. Just to even them out. And... Do a little gold right here. 
I'm going to just do a straight pour to begin with, and then I'll wander. All right. Now, I think I'm going to start here. Should have put this on my spinner so I could get around easier. All right. Now, I'm not going to spin. I, I don't think I'm going to spin. I put it on this uh, spinner just so I can get around. Sorry about that. Little monkeys. Let's just add a little more here so I can get to the corner. All right. 
I have a flow extender. Uh, they're table scraps from previous painting. Let's give that a torch. They're an ugly dark gray color, however, they're going to go over the side. My flow extender is the same consistency as my pour. Little Winston's with me today. He's always with me. He's my little buddy. Now, let's see if I can explain this. If I was to put the flow extender into that little divot right there, if I wanted to keep that, I would have a hard time doing that because that co color will be inside of here. That kind of comes with experience. Since I don't have this color in my pore, that's not something I want there. Get the weight of your paint in the center of your canvas. Okay. I'm going to go to this corner first. Don't laugh at my spinner. Spinner has served me well. And back to the center. We can adjust our composition once we take it to four corners. Okay, I'm going to go to this corner here, near you. I think I want to go to that corner. If you see you're not lined up right, take it back to the center. Ooh, 
that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to go to this corner and then we're going to make adjustments. see here I might give this just a small spin I think I want to go to that corner near you. Do I? Let me think about this for a second. I think I want to come this way to that end. I have the weight of the paint there. I'm going to move it to the outside of my spinner where the centrifugal force is stronger and remove some of that. I think I still want to go off that end a little bit. Now I believe I want to take it to that corner. So I'm going to move the canvas in that direction. Give it a small spin. paint off. You want to get enough paint off your canvas so it doesn't crack while it's drying. I think I like it. I always lose a color. This time it's the violet. I see a little tiny bit of it. But what's ironic is that I can put six colors in that cup and still lose a color. So... Uh, sometimes these are hard to figure out. All right, I think I like that. Mm 
Let me take my gloves off, give it a final torch, and then I'll bring you down for a closer look. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. You'd be helping me out a lot. If you look into the light, you can see if you still have bubbles. All right. Let me grab the camera. It's going to make a noise. Sorry. Let me get the ring light. Hopefully I don't cut the camera off. Look at these little lines. They're beautiful. We have some violet right here. That Windsor violet will dry very dark. This is pretty with the white and the red little red tips. This almost looks like lightning. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. Please come back and see me again. Bye.